Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have market structures. Monopoly and oligopoly. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to define monopoly and oligopoly. Describe the characteristics of monopoly and oligopoly, and differentiate monopoly from oligopoly. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. A market structure with a small number of large firms. A. Monopoly. B. Oligopoly. C. Monopolistic competition. D. Perfect competition. The answer is B. Oligopoly. 2. A market structure where a specific person or enterprise is the only supplier of a particular good. A. Monopoly. B. Oligopoly. C. Monopolistic competition. D. Perfect competition. The answer is A. Monopoly. 3. It is characterized by the profit maximizer, price maker, high barriers to entry, single seller, and price discrimination. A. Monopoly. B. Oligopoly. C. Monopolistic competition. D. Perfect competition. The answer is A. Monopoly. 4. A market structure where collusion exists. A. Monopoly. B. Oligopoly. C. Monopolistic competition. D. Perfect competition. The answer is B. Oligopoly. 5. It refers to a non-competitive, secret, and sometimes illegal agreement between rivals which attempts to disrupt the market's equilibrium. A. Merger. B. Subsidiary. C. Collusion. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Collusion. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Describe the monopolistic competition according to the following characteristics. 1. Number of sellers. 2. Type of products. 3. Entry, exit to market. 4. Price power. Oligopoly is a market structure with a few large firms, none of which can keep the others from having significant influence. Few sellers control most of the production of a good or service and setting prices. Characteristics of oligopoly. 1. There are very few sellers that control the entire market. Most of these are in the oil industry, transportation, and telecommunication. 2. Products may be differentiated or identical, but they are usually standardized. Sellers offer a differentiated and identical product such as petroleum which have different variants. In an oligopoly, firms often compete on non-price competition. This makes advertising and the quality of the product are often important. 3. In an oligopoly, there must be some barriers to entry to enable firms to gain a significant market share. 
These barriers to entry may include brand loyalty or economies of scale. However, barriers to entry are less than monopoly. 4. The actions of one firm affect all producers. Companies will be affected by how other firms set price and output. 5. There are different possible ways that firms will compete and behave this will depend upon, the objectives of the firms, example, profit maximization or sales maximization. The degree of contestability, example barriers to entry. Government regulation. 6. There are different possible outcomes in an oligopoly market. Stable prices, firms concentrate on non-price competition. Price wars, competitive oligopoly. And. Collusion, leading to higher prices. Collusion is an agreement to act together or cooperatively. It is illegal, but tacit collusion may be hard to determine. For collusion to be effective, there needs to be barriers to entry. A cartel is a formal collusive agreement. For example, the organization of petroleum exporting countries is a cartel seeking to control the price of oil. A monopoly exists when a company and its product offerings dominate a sector or industry. The existence of a monopoly depends on how easy it is for consumers to substitute the products for those of other sellers. Characteristics of monopoly. 1. There is only one seller in the market, meaning the company becomes the same as the industry it serves. A single seller has control of the entire supply of raw materials like Maralka, Manila water, and Minelid. 2. The producer will enjoy economies of scale, which are saved from a large range of outputs. Economies of scale are cost advantages reaped by companies when production becomes efficient. Companies can achieve economies of scale by increasing production and lowering costs. 3. The company that operates the monopoly decides the price of the product that it will sell without any competition keeping their prices in check. As a result, monopolies can raise prices. 4. Competitors are not able to enter the market, and the monopoly can easily prevent competition by developing their dominant position in an industry. The reason could be due to legal barriers like government restrictions, patents, and copyrights. For your activity, please read the directions. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is a monopoly? An oligopoly. 2. What are the characteristics of a monopoly? An oligopoly. 3. What is the difference between monopoly and oligopoly? Reflect on this. Nobody has a monopoly on good ideas. Kevin O'Leary. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.